So sorry guys, this mukbang will be broken up into two parts. My mom called, so I just had to tend to her. So yeah, I just was saying that those those frogs are tortured so much and now they're tortured up until they get eaten. Like it's so sad that these little animals get eaten and I seriously rant about this to my best friend all the time and he just listens and it's just really really upsetting to me and like yeah I'm smiling because like like I always annoy him but you know anyways so yeah back to the topic about eating vegan wherever you are there's always gonna be a vegan alternative and if there's not you could ask your server and it's just that easy and if all else fails you will lay your hands on some fruit or veggies or grains or whatever the case is and yeah it's just super important that you guys stay prepared um and in fact if you guys are going out on vacation and you have like a vegan diet or you have like like a dietary restriction or something i recommend carrying some stuff with you when you're there because a that'll save you money and b you'll have things that you could always fall back on if let's say dinner didn't fill you up entirely or you're still hungry after dinner or whatever the case is it's just really helpful to have backup food in your suitcase knowing that when you get back to your hotel you will be munching on something that's good for you and that didn't break your wallet and that's and that actually fill you up for the night so yeah it, just be vegan guys it's so easy and like when i see people eating like chicken and stuff like it breaks my heart and oh my god guys i have to tell you something so yeah so i said before that i lived in like a primarily chinese neighborhood so like one or two blocks from my house there's a store and this store it like no it's not a store it's a restaurant and they literally have i think chickens like hanging upside down what is this oh my god like and they're cooked they're cooked chicken but why oh my god does does that appeal to people do, do, does that make people hungry is that like a marketing tool what is this oh my god it's just Oh my god it it seriously breaks my heart to see that and like like I walk by it like daily maybe or basically daily because it's a couple of blocks from my house and like I I snicker at it like like I give it like a really cruel face because it deserves a really cruel face it's just like the most awful thing I've ever seen and Oh my god, guys, it's just really, really awful, and, like, it breaks my heart. Like, why are people manipulating animals this way, as well as jeopardizing their health? And, guys, if you want to help poverty, go vegan. That's gonna put much less... No, hold on. Now I'm thinking of the right, of the right way to phrase this you'll be putting a lot less of the animals on the farms that is used to cultivate animals that could be used to be distributed to the impoverished you know so yeah so to domesticate animals requires a lot of land and of course this world is already overpopulated as is and people don't have homes and the homes that could be used to help the impoverished is being gone to domesticate animals into slaughterhouses it's it's honestly disgusting guys Ugh.
And by the way, in case you guys are like transgender or something, by guys I'm talking about everyone. Guys, girls, non binary non binary, non conforming. Yeah, I'm talking to you guys or girls or whoever you are. I'm not saying, oh, I'm just talking to guys. No, it, this is like a general term. I'm sorry if I've offended you guys by saying that. But yeah, I do know that there are issues. And guys, how long will we let guns control us? This whole thing in Orlando and the whole thing, I think, was her name Christina? I think, I, yeah, like the person on American Idol. I think her name was Christina. Well, whatever her name was, I'm sorry, but I don't remember her name. But the thing is, like, why? Like, how could a little thing control us? I was watching the season finale of South Park yesterday. I mean, I've seen it many times, but I think it was season uh, 19? Is that what season they're on? Yeah, whatever season they're on. Yeah, I was watching the season finale, and, like, it's a kind of a kid show, or de debatably a kid show. And, like, these kids, Cartman, Butters, Stan, Kyle, and Kenny, they got guns like this. And they were like, what, nine years old? What? Like, it's this kind of stuff that perpetuate, perpetuates this notion that, oh my god, like, kids have to get guns or the world isn't safe. No. The thing that doesn't make us safe is guns. And I may get a little backlash for this, but I don't think people should have guns. No one should have guns. Because people will manipulate the power. So no one should have guns. No no policemen or no pedestrians. Just no one has guns. I think this world is a lot safer. And, like, there aren't any mass shootings. Because mass shootings are disgusting. They are the, they are the worst. And, like, my heart really goes out to the people, the people who lost someone in Orlando. Or in... A mass shooting in 2015. 2015 was probably the worst year of mass shootings. It was disgusting how high the mass shootings were. In fact, there was one basically every day. I think there were like 320 mass shootings in one year. That is insane. That's almost one a day. And it seriously sucks and we should not let guns control us genuinely feel that if we took away guns from everyone, policemen or regular people, we would be a lot safer. We would be not afraid to go outside and just enjoy or, you know, like, girls could wear whatever they want and not feel, like, intimidated by men because that's just really, really disgusting behavior and I totally stand against it and I really feel like people can do something about it by not owning guns guns are just something that people utilize to make them unsafe and I genuinely feel really really sad for the people in Orlando and my heart goes out to them tremendously no one should have that kind of behavior no one should be killed just for being somewhere at the at a place it's just sad yeah 
I'm just super upset about that and about the mass shootings in 2015. And guys, don't even get me started about what happened in Sandy Hook. I think it was 2011, 12? A couple of years ago. It was the worst. Oh my god, like... Sorry guys, this is just like a really, really rambly mukbang about like veganism and guns and just like a lot of different things. But I think as humans, we have to figure out a balance. We have to be more to we have to find a balance between what we want and what we stand for or is that right is what we view as ideal and what actually happens i mean what we view as ideal is that no one eats animals ever no one manipulates animals no one tests on animals and the earth is distributed in such a way that helps the impoverished and no one has a gun that i mean that's in my perfect world you guys could disagree but i feel like guns are the source of the problems people are not born bad they're made bad by society they're made bad by religion i'm not debunking religion here i'm quite religious myself but I'm saying that people have to realize that it's just not about them. It's about society at large. It's about being there for people who need mourn or who need support when they're mourning. It's about helping people when they're upset. And I'm feeling really full now. And I barely ate like half. Maybe I ate like a third. Mmm. So good. So, the, the bottom line is, the perfect world is possible. Your perfect world is possible. Society's perfect world is possible. This utopian society is very, very possible. It's just some people make it dystopic. And this dystopia is what makes the world bad bad influences i think um yeah so kind of another interest of mine is watching about and learning about the lies of serial killers on rob dyke's youtube channel and i really like his channel because he's really informative and professional and the pictures are really really good so, yeah, I like to watch his YouTube channel and find out about serial killers through his, um, through his channel. And the thing is, most serial killers become that way because of parents or because of bullying. We need to stop bullying. We need to teach people how to be better parents. And, and nothing like this will happen. The world will be much better. The world will be much safer. And just utopia. And I think that's what people need to realize. People need to be better people. People need to know that what they're doing could be hurting someone else. And just the sensitivity is just really, really important. And yeah, I... I'm basically done with my food. I'm probably going to finish the rest later because I'm really full. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Um, it was really rambly. I mean, I wanted to stick to one topic, but I ended up talking about, you know, a lot of different things. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And I will see you next time. Bye.